Okay, so welcome to another uh, playthrough of Walking Dead. This guy's having a heart attack. We need to find his pills. I don't know where the goddamn pills are. But he was an asshole. Alright, so I don't know where the keys are. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so I didn't find the batteries and I did not find the key to the pharmacy. What happened to his hair? It's only been like a day or two since this apocalypse started. Before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Ooh, there's a bat. I want that. Give me that. Give me that. in this game. <laughs> Shit. We can hide by that pickup. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Let's keep Get it quietly, we can't. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. <laughs> right, well, that's not gonna work. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Dude, I don't know. Uh, let's see. 
He's not going anywhere. About as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. All right, we'll go back to the window with the pillow. They really want to get into that room. gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I'm done trying to punch out windows. Well, it's trying to use a pillow or something. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Scramble brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, finally. This pick is the prime walker killer. I should be able to take those guys out when they come around the corner of the RV. I wish I had a skip dialogue button. No, 
take it back. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Alright, I guess we can't take the pick back. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. You might want to break through that board first. I think you, Glenn. Oh, shit. Wrong one. I gotta be careful when I can you make these selections. You might want to break through that board first. Yes, Glenn, I know. All right. Do it. Oof. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh god. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you I said go away. I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. <laughs> That's it's all he cares Christian. about. Please. <laughs> just leave me. Please go. Poor Glenn. Just trying to get his dick wet. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know! That was why I was locked away! I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So... Nope. Can I... Borrow it? No, what bitch! You you're gonna waste our bullets. Give it to me. I can just... You know, end this, and then... Then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're... They're... Satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone alright? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and 
Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. I have no idea where the key to the office is. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah, why not? Maybe the key is on the um the dad, and they drag the bodies out, right? Let's have a look Let's around. Let's have a look around. Okay. Even though it sounds like a horrible idea. Eat. As far as I can tell, it's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, let's see. I have friends you that are guys visiting, so. To get in there and get weapons. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up, and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Oh, that's right, Doug is a nerdy guy. I was an AV. Let's try. Well, Go fucking Doug. Doug. All that dark nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Hmm, how can we distract them? Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. So maybe we had to break the glass somehow? How do we break the glass? Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. How? Those TVs are on. And I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. How am I supposed to distract them? A few seconds of searching and we'll know if he has the keys. <laughs> Those 
those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. You know, there's no way these zombies would not notice these guys just sitting there. Do it, Lee. Now's the time. See if he has the keys. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Oh, that's my brother. <laughs> You were there. You would have died for them. So, yeah. We're gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I got to do this now, man. I got to do this. So juicy. <laughs> oh, motherfuck. Is it done? Okay, I think it's done. Holy shit. Nah, I think he's still alive. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm so sorry, bud. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Dude, they weren't even looking before to yell that out. We're not gonna seal the gate? Man, oh. that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Gotta hurry. Oh, she looks like she had a rough night. Oh, she has the <laughs> a screwdriver in her back. Hey, come to us so we can take that away from you. Make it through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. Wait, 
We'll make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... I should know what? Huh? You said I should know... <laughs> On it. Are you sure? Shit! Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, then. Give it time. Can you look for something to stick in between the hands? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Because she thought she had bullets, still. I got ah! You gotta move. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Stop her out. Are we gonna get the screwdriver? Let's get the screwdriver. Come on. I guess we're not getting the screwdriver. No! Wow, what an asshole. I got you your fucking pills, you piece of shit. Somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Damn, Carly died. I thought she was gonna be the like the originals. Like she'll stick with us through <laughs> till the end. I really thought she was gonna survive. That's the only reason why I picked Doug. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. No, Sounds like nobody I want to stick with Glenn. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Fuck! I wanted Glenn to stick with us. It would have been Clementine first and then Glenn second. Fuck all the rest.
Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. You said you wanted kids once. Uh, I did, yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Yeah, I know that. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kenny. I got your back, pal. Are they fighting? How you doing, Doug? Aw, oh, Doug probably hates you now because I didn't save the girl. Doug? Aw, oh, Doug. We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's... It's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. She liked you, too. Thankfully. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. Oh man, I feel so bad that I let her die now. No, I would have felt bad that Doug died. Doug is like a smart guy. Oh, fuck this dude. Oh God, Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know He's what? A shit. He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell. And my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step on a line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Oh, at least he cares about the little girl, at least. Alright, I'll hey, watch my ass. Lee, <laughs> do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Hey, at least someone is appreciative of what I did. dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Oh, it's really ominous now. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Ooh, spoke too soon. To be continued. Wow, that was really, really good. Um... Ooh, next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? 
keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. It was just getting so good. Let's see. Lied to Herschel. You and 36% of players lied. Who would you say? 40% chose Chon, of course. Loyalty side with Kenny. 40% defended Kenny. And gave Irene the gun. 55% refused the gun. And who would you save? <laughs> yeah, I figured a smaller percentage of people would have chose Doug. I chose Doug personally because I thought that Carly was going to survive. I thought she had another bullet in her gun or I thought she was going to be more resourceful. She seemed like a character that was going to last to the end, but I guess she didn't. So now we're stuck with Doug, but it's okay. Doug is smart. We like smart people. All right, let's hit continue. All right, so that is the end of episode one of The Walking Dead. And this game is absolutely amazing. It absolutely does live up to all the um, extremely positive reviews that I've seen so far. And it's exactly what I wanted because I was looking for a game that was very similar to Life is Strange. Not the story, but just the gameplay itself. Um, very chill, very casual game. But anyways, thank you for watching. Um, if you like what you saw, make sure you hit the like button and also make sure you uh, follow on Twitch as well. And if you're on YouTube, just make sure you subscribe. All right, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yes, finally. <laughs>